Hello, my name is Anna Maria and I'm one of the teachers from KG Learning Center. Today I'm going to learn about modal verbs. One of the first modal verbs is can. And examples are I can cook dinner. Can you pass the ketchup? Can I use your pencil? Intense light can hurt your eyes. All of these ones, they show ability, willingness, permission and possibility. We have here direction saying how can is used in each sentence. The first one, I can tie my shoes. Can I have a piece of gum? If you ride a motorcycle, you can fall. You can put A if it expresses ability. You can use W if it expresses willingness. Or her if it is used to express permission. And pose if it is used to express possibility. As you can see, the first one expresses an ability. The second one expresses a permission, the third one expresses a possibility, and the fourth one expresses willingness. Another modal verb, it is could. The negative of can is could not, or the contraction couldn't. He couldn't let me have his pencil because he needed it. Jane could be at the store right now. The first one, it is the past tense of can. The second one expresses possibility. Circle the correct auxiliary modal verb in each sentence. So we have the first one, I could, can, help you with your homework now. We need you to choose which of the two modal verbs it is the correct one for this sentence and the answer is can the next modal verb is may the negative of may is may not here can express possibility and permission one example is i may become a doctor and for permission may i have a glass of water Another modal verb is might. The negative of might is might not. It expresses possibility. I might become a doctor when I grow up, but I doubt it. He is not sure, it's just a possibility that he is going to become a doctor. You have might and may. The first might, I might become a doctor when I grow up, but I doubt it. And the second one, it's a higher degree of possibility. If the first one, he wasn't sure that he's going to become a doctor, it's a small possibility. May can show a higher degree of possibility. I may become a doctor. So it's quite possible in the near future that she or he is going to become a doctor. This is the lesson for today. I hope you enjoy it. Have a lovely day.